Hi there, and welcome to another Retro Game Review. This time we're looking at another Atari classic that was released for the Atari 5200 and 2600 Centipede. The centipedes are coming, get your fingers moving fast and the spiders out to get you. Do you think that you can last? You can shoot him in the middle, he will only break in two. And the fleas are even faster if you look away and through. See the scorpion a dance and he can really help you score. But the centipede's immortal keeps coming back for more. Centipede is from Atari and it's faster than a jet. If you're looking for some action, it's the game you gotta get. Centipede. for Atari. This game was released in 1981, originally for the arcades, and was then ported to the Atari 2600, and also there was a Atari 5200 version. Like I mentioned in the previous video, um, this was the first ever game that I played for the Atari um, when I got it what, nearly 30 years ago now for Christmas. Um, it came with the Centipede game. And I remember playing it being blown away by the spider sprite that ran along across the screen. Um, a lot of fond memories of this game. Um, what I thought I'd do is um, play on it now I have to review it, see how it holds up after 30 years, and I'll let you know my thoughts. So, further ado, let's get the game up and we'll have a little go. Okay, so I'm playing this on the PS4 emulation on the Atari Classics. I haven't got an original Atari 2600, so I bought the Flashback Classics for the PS4. So we'll get started and let's see what let's see what it's like. There's a spider. Not as impressive as I remember it to be honest. Right well, there we go. It's actually a lot more difficult than I remembered if the centipedes travel a lot a lot quicker. got an advantage of a space and bid as well because you can move up and down rather than side just side to side. Damn it. Right, let's see. 7120. Right, let's have another go. See if I can break that one. It's about you as well with the centipede scrolling across the screen and the spider jumping up and down. You're focusing on the centipede and the spider can get you. It's really difficult at some points when it's right at the bottom. It's really good but a little bit stressful as well. Oops, here comes a scorpion. I 
Ah, oh, right, I'll finish. I think I'll finish there for today. <sighs> that was stressful. Okay, so play it back after all these years, it does seem quite um, a lot more difficult than what I remember it. I think with the centipede going along on the screen and with the spider constantly jumping, it's like two things that you've got to think of at once, like that you've got to keep an eye on. It's really good to play. Um, if I'm honest, I still prefer Space Invaders, but that's just my um, just my opinion. It is still really fun to play. Got my heart racing a bit, really playing it. Um, brought back a lot of um, good childhood memories. The uh, spider's not as blowing my mind as, as I remember it, but again, I was six year old and I'd never seen a console before with that 8 bit spider jumping across the screen. It was like the best thing I ever seen. I mean, it's still really fun to play, but and the noise it does get annoying after a while. You just want to shoot it to stop it straight away. But again, it's the limitations of the Atari system. They only worked with what they could at the time. So yeah, I mean, it's still really fun to play. It's stressful as well at some points, but that's what good games are. So for me, it definitely gets a 9 out of 10. Okay, so that's it for me for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video, got something out of it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to see more content. We've got a lot more ideas coming soon. And let me know what you think of the videos so far. Um, anything that you want me to look at, uh, any improvements you'd like me to make, let me know. I read all the comments and I'll take anything on board that you say. But yeah, I just really appreciate you watching the videos. And if you'd like to subscribe, please do. So close to reaching 40 subscribers, my next uh, milestone. So if you could do me a favour, it would really help the channel grow. And it would be really good if you could do that. But like I say, big thank you for watching the video so far. Hope you're all doing well. And hope to see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.